Hi folks, I'm going to give it um, just a minute longer. Um, yeah. You will have to forgive me. I am uh, kind of nervous, but we're going to we're going to just talk for a while and it is something serious that I do need to say. I will say um just to um get it out there that I am not graduating. That's the first major thing I want to say. Um, and I'll, you know, repeat that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, that's the first thing I am not graduating. That is not the plan, but I do want to talk just a little bit um, about um, what happened yesterday, why, you know, it made me feel so uncomfortable, and the rules I'm going to have going forward. Um, regarding that, okay, so the, the first thing I want to say is, um, I turned off suggested gifts for my throne, um, because someone, I don't know who this was, I don't. I don't know who it was, but I do know that what they suggested made me extremely uncomfortable because they decided I needed an uh, Apple AirTag, which if you are aware of what that is, it's a, well, if you're not aware, I should say, it's a small device that if you have it on you, will track your location. Um, there are apps via iPhone, um, iOS, I think Mac OS has it. I'm not sure because I haven't owned a Mac in a very long time. But I I do think a um a Mac could track that. Um and yeah, it made me feel extremely uncomfortable. Um I don't know whether this would have been a thing that was, you know, directly from an Apple store to me, whether it was something, you know, from Amazon to me. Whether or not um, it would somehow get shipped to their house first and sent to me. The important thing here is that I am not in any way comfortable with having a device that could track me sent to me from someone I don't know. Um, honestly, I'm not even 100% comfortable with someone I know having a device like that. Um, yeah, because the primary thing that is with that is it can be used to quite literally and quite accurately stalk someone IRL. And that's not cool. That's not cool with me. That shouldn't be cool for anyone to suggest. Um, yeah, and it was honestly a shock that someone I don't know would send, you know, suggest something like that because it made me very worried. It made me very scared. I am still kind of worried and scared and upset <laughs> um, 
which I think, you know, anyone would be in that situation. Um, yeah. And here's the thing. I haven't said this on stream before. And I haven't said this on Twitter. But IRL, I am married. IRL, I am a mom to a very sweet, very smart three-year-old. And the reason I have kept this so private is to protect my child's privacy. Not just mine, my kids. And something like that that could be used to track me could easily wind up in my kiddo's backpack on the way to preschool. And I am incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable with someone not only being able to track where I am, being able to track where my child is. And That's the secondary reason why, you know, I'm not comfortable with having a tracking device like that in there because, again, it's not just me. It could affect, it could affect my kid who... who loves people so much, who loves, you know, going places with aunts and uncles and cousins, and is only just now really learning the difference between someone it's safe to go with and someone it is not safe to go with. <laughs> we are working on that with them. But it's, again, it's a process of something that needs to be taught. And if something, you know, happened to me, I would be upset. If something happened to my child, I would be incredibly, incredibly upset. So going forward, I'm not... Going forward, for one, I have unlisted, I have, pardon me, I've turned off suggestions for the room. I am debating whether or not it is worth it to delete that entirely or not. I'm not sure um, what the best course of action on that front is. It's something I'm thinking about. But yeah, the, that's... That's the big thing that I wanted to make very, very clear is don't send me or any other streamer something that could be used to track them IRL because you might not know what their situation is. You might not know whether or not someone else in their house could be affected. You don't know. And I love y'all. I love my audience so much. I love the people that, you know, I've surrounded with. I love my dear friends so much. But at the same time, I have to put protecting, you know, my family first. And I hope that y'all understand that. Like I said, I said this wasn't going to be a long stream. Um, that's the major thing I wanted to say. I will be following this up with um, posting this video um, to YouTube. I'll probably, um, I will say something similar as well on um, Twitter. Um, 
I'm not sure what my stream schedule for the rest of this week is going to look like. I'm still very, you know, upset and concerned about what happened. And I want to make sure that, um, you know, things are kind of locked down as much as I can. Not entirely, but I think y'all know what... <laughs> I think y'all know what I'm trying to get at here. I'm not going to lock everything down entirely, but I do want to make sure, you know, all of my um, safety checks and balances are there. Um, like I said, this is going to be a short stream. I'm going to end it right here so I can... Um, kind of go forward with that planning um as of right now um my friday stream is going to be kind of up in the air and um kind of going forward you know we'll see um thank you all for understanding thank you so much and um i will see you all later okay